all right hello everybody welcome or welcome back i am working the last couple hours of my shift from home today mm. i finally got my access back my manager has returned to the business she was able to go in and do it the approval and i think that's probably why Oh yeah, and I've been telling my team, I said I finally finished Game of Thrones. If y'all haven't been following me on Instagram, I've been um, posting my reactions to the to the show. I don't think it's a spoiler because I'm late to the bandwagon. Like I, I just started watching the show a few months ago. I did not like the ending. I do not like how they killed off Cersei. I don't like that they made Danny pretty much mad at the ending. I'm like, that's not been her character the entire time. And y'all decided to do that like the last, what, one or two episodes of the show. Like that was so stupid to me. Like, and then I don't like, I did not like that they killed Jon and then brought him back to life. I mean, I did did not like also how in the season they made him like during the fighting scenes like if you watch like the Battle of the Bastards or even in like the Long Night episode you you guys know how or if you've watched it you know how like there's this point in the fighting where it just seems to be too much for him and they kind of make him whatever the way they shot it or edited it or whatever they kind of made him seem like a damsel in distress like come save me and then you have like the veil came in and saved them during you know the battle of the bastards and then who was it that came and saved them during during i forgot who it was that came in and helped him during the long night i have to go back and rewatch it but it's always like he there's this moment where every he's just overwhelmed it's too much and they just have this moment of like we'll come save you john snow i did not like that editing i don't like that for him but I do like him as a character. Love Brienne of Tarth. She's my favorite female character. I was happy when Cersei died, but I did not like the way they killed her off. They like I was expecting her to get burnt up like one of the people in the street, like with the dragon. You know, I was expecting that, you know, or for at least the dragon to knock down that tower. She was just standing in and watching everything happen. Yeah, that's my little rant about Game of Thrones. I also didn't like season six. Most of it was unnecessary. I think the first two episodes and the last episode of that season was good, but mostly unnecessary. Season seven, boring uh, from what I remember was boring and it was short and then season eight too short like they could have condensed this down this could have been like seven seasons or so or six but anyways all right so what i'm working on is making some modifications to my tableau dashboard i'm trying to reduce the amount of like tabs within this particular dashboard so what i've done is taken one of the dashboard pages and I'm making it an info button because that's pretty much what it is it's giving like information about the overall performance and results issues like it has issues that I've been tracking um, over the past what is it February March April May June so over the past five months so it includes that so yeah I just wanted to consolidate it down instead of having like a separate page for it. I just put it in an info button. Um, you can do like a show hide button. So it shows that information. So there's two different options for them. I have a um, I have a parameter set up with the di within the dynamic zone of visibility to show one like to show details or summary view. And then I have this info button that can be clicked on that will allow them to get the information like feedback we've received issues that i've been tracking that type of thing so kind of like dual purpose type things so details summary and then the info and i'm just double checking to make sure it all works so now i can stop displaying that on the dashboard so yeah and then i'm going to add a vertical container to the bottom of my page so i can put this little call out there and then i think i may add in the company logo do i already have that downloaded somewhere not that this belongs to anyone else but yeah i have that so i'm gonna add that it's not why is the color wrong oh okay it is not colored okay i'm gonna have to find another image do we have our logo let me search because i'm not seeing it okay all right no no you're good so um let's see yeah i can hear you you can't hear me 
Why not? Nothing. How are you? Yeah, yeah. I got you. That's a lot. <sighs> no worries, but um, no problem. I just added, I wanted to, I just duplicated the slide and replaced the top two charts because I wanted to run it by you first to see if that's something that you'd be okay with the showing this week. And just so it shows like, this is just the month over month comparison. So same time frame where we were in May versus where we are currently in June. Yeah, and it's just showing the participation percent. So it's not broken down by market, but just where our total, you know, our totals are. So we can see like we're having, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is just a show like, so you can see like we have a small decline in, but they're making, I guess, some improvements in attainment when we look at participation. So like that's really just a story we're seeing like a, a lift there. What do you mean? No, I'm, I go in and I pull the numbers. Well, I have, so two things. I go in and I'm pulling the numbers daily. And then, so I have record of that. And two, I also, and you can do this too. You can um, set up a subscription to the dashboard so it emails you a snapshot of what performance was on a particular day like for example if it was a weekend day you can get an email snapshot of what performance was that day so if i don't if i didn't pull it that day i should have it in my email and let me show you for example um i know but i'm pulling like the the details so i because what we've what we've had in the past like if there's an issue with performance or rep questioning their results like I want to have some kind of record for it at least once a week so it's not I know it takes a couple minutes to download the data from the dashboard but I just want to have record of what it was that day so in the event that there's a question about hey my performance was this on this day what happened like I can go back and reference that file and say hey I saw this but the snapshot of the results is just like the chart what it showed on that day and it's emailed to me every day so that's not any extra work all I had to do was create a subscription to the dashboard so it sends me that so it has so I have the pdf I do late in the day because of when you know some sometimes the dashboard isn't updated till like three or four o'clock eastern time so I usually choose four o'clock for it to email it to me yeah so you just get the email it has a snapshot yeah <laughs> no it's fine you're fine yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I can forge you the emails. Uh huh. I don't know. I'll I'll look up. I'll look it up though. I'll look at it. Yeah. See, I know I know how to do it in Tableau. I don't know about Sheets. I know I can. I have done it in Tableau, but I don't know about Sheets. So I'll look it up to see if we can do that. And if so, percent difference, like like standard deviation or percentiles. Is that something we're bringing up on the call to ask? to do tomorrow well hold on my question is this is that is the dashboard going to be the only place that they see the targets these targets this is okay well i saw the message between you and Chris was saying like only if it's not too much of a lift right so is that what you're talking to about today like the lift to get all these individual targets okay oh okay I don't mind putting in the request, like I'll put in the request form, but hold on. He'll have to get the targets from T is what I'm assuming, unless he sends them to us. But it won't be back, but here's the thing, it won't be back until the 24th. Like we're losing a week and a half. If we're like, if not doing it right now, then he technically doesn't have a heads up or two week leeway. Okay, no, I thought you were saying two and you're saying chew. You're saying her last name. <laughs> what do you mean as far as that no I wasn't gonna do it I mean if you think it's yeah so we can leave that yeah so we can leave but hold on did you update what did you update on the new chart because I still see month I still see month to date through six eight and then on the sheet no hold on I I, I still see on the worksheet, I don't know where, which, which, <laughs> which one are you referring to? So in the deck slide 12, you see where it has the new chart, that chart. I don't see. No, that's the one I told you about. I think yesterday where I said I changed it from the opportunities to show the, okay. No, no, you're good. No, you're good. So skip, you can skip the 
uh, opportunity, you know, just to kind of switch it up a little bit and show a different view. So I didn't want to delete anything because it was just like for this one week, just to show a different view. Mm. What was his name? Hi, how's it going? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me check. Is that better? Yeah, I can hear you fine. I just don't know. Am I misunderstanding how the calculations are being done? Okay. Yeah, I, I I guess I get that, but my under my well with, with you explaining it that makes sense. But I think my understanding and maybe the team's understanding as well is was not what you just explained. I I, I didn't I did not and I wasn't aware of this, so I'll speak for myself. I thought that, okay, so this employee, they hit 100, I think they were like 189%. My understanding was that once they reached either the, either the 110 or the 130, if I'm not mistaken, percent, then at that point, anytime they have a after it, that would be paid out. Not that they had a, like a portion of their quota is, because it seems like they're hitting, they have to hit two targets. I wasn't aware of that. And that's what it sounds like you're saying they have to hit right okay that's it okay all right that makes sense I will <laughs> I will see if everyone else is clear and if not I'll let you know and we can jump on a call and go over it but that's helpful <laughs> I did I really wasn't aware that we were looking at a separate like subset of a quota that they also had to hit okay <gasps> it was deducting Okay, yeah, would that, that would have applied to May too? Oh no, oh, you're saying it would have been a better, yeah. Okay, I will look at that. Um, I pulled the final reporting so I can pull what it's showing now and just do a like a steer and compare and then also let everyone else know what's happening. But I'll let you know if they, if we need to pull up on a call and go over anything as well. But that's really helpful because definitely wasn't aware that was happening on the back end. So that's clarification for me going forward on how this is actually working. Yeah. So thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. 